Hey everyone and welcome to what I hope will be one of many videos to come, where I'll be giving you guys a quick overview on how I shoot some of my product photos and videos at home. Throughout the video I'm going to show you guys some behind the scenes to briefly explain the lighting, the setup and my overall thought process when doing such shoots. I am planning on improving future videos in order to give you guys a more detailed explanation, but for now sit back and enjoy a quick overview on how I turned this into this. To start off the photo shoot I had to determine a couple of things. What product I'm going to be using, what kind of setting I want the product to be in and where I'm actually going to do the photo shoot inside my house. So I did what any other sensible human would do. Opened the alcohol cabinet and chose an unopened bottle from there. I swear I'm not an alcoholic. Maybe a little. I picked up a Ballantine's whiskey bottle which at the time seemed unopened but little did I know, I was wrong, but we'll get to that part later on. I decided that I wanted a warm and relaxing setting for my product, and therefore I decided that the living room would actually be a good place. Since I have a piano and a balcony right next to it, I simply had to make use of them. The piano allowed for a nice background, while the balcony gave me some very nice natural backlight for the product. Now the ironing board was already opened and in a pretty good spot, but what's even better than that is that it can be adjusted, which helps a lot in such situations. I now just needed a countertop, so I quickly went upstairs to see what I can find, and ended up using a thin wooden plank, which was a good enough surface for the bottle. I positioned my key light at a 45 degree angle and used a warm light rather than a white light. I have a bad habit of centering my subject and that's why I decided to move the glass and the bottle slightly to the right. This then allowed me to add the Ballantine's logo in the top left corner of the photo. Now if you look closely, you'll notice that behind the bottle I actually set up my phone's flashlight in order to get a nice glow for the whiskey and that's when I noticed the bottle was actually opened. Luckily I could simply rotate my phone and have the whiskey show only from the bottom, hiding the fact that the bottle was actually already opened. For the whiskey in the glass I simply used a different liqueur as most people wouldn't notice anyway. Loaded the photos onto Lightroom, picked the ones that I liked and from there on I ended up with the finished result. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, then please leave a like and any feedback down in the comment section below, as my aim with this is to share my experience and constantly improve on what I'm doing. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.